Uh, magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Ito ang lingkod, si Freddy. Uh, uh, sa YouTube channel ko at Pilipinos America Vlog YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please start uh, uh, pressing the red button below so you could subscribe to my channel and it's all free. And at the same time, give me a big likes, guys. Don't forget to give me a big likes, okay? And make some comment, whether in English and in Filipino, okay? Uh, yung ibang lang, uh, ano, hindi ko na, hindi ko na kabalo, uh, except for Ilongo, okay? I do understand uh, some Ilongo, okay? Because I live in Iloilo and Bacolod for so many years before migrating here to America, okay? So, ang aking topic for today, ah, at siya nga pala, if you could share this video uh, to your friends and benefactors and family circle and within your communities or uh, barangay, I really appreciate it. Okay? Okay. Ang content ko for today is all about uh, us, uh, US Filipinos, and all OFWs or Overseas Filipino Workers. Our importance to the economy of the Philippines. Kasi sa ating mga uh, US Filipino, most, most especially here in America, as well as in Canada, in Australia, and even in uh, problem-oriented problem, uh, now, uh, United Kingdom, okay, and some uh, European countries too, are contributors to uh, billions of uh, dollars on a yearly basis per uh, central bank data, okay? And uh, that is the truth na hindi nyo pwede sabihin na yung mga ibang Pilipino dyan sa Pilipinas, sasabihin nyo, ba'y ba nagko-comment? O, oh, umuwi ka rito para makita mo ang katayuan namin dito na naghihirap. Ha? Naghihirap? Eh, nakita ko daming tao sa, ano eh, sa mga mall eh, shopping mall. At pag may okasyon eh, ay, ang daming tao sa, sa, ano, sa mga airports, pumupunta sa iba-ibang lugar. Diyan sa Pilipinas. Ha? Di ba? O. Oh. Tapos eh, puno ang club. Puno lahat. O, oh, sabi mo naghihirap ka? Ha? Ah? At bakit ka nakakapag-internet? Nakakakonek ka sa amin dito. So, hindi ka naghihirap. It's the way how you handle your budget there in the Philippines. It's the way how you solve your problem financially. It's the way how you use the effective means of tools in order to organize your financial system there in the country. Am I right? Hmm. Yan yeah, no, ang dahilan. Uh, right now, humihina ang ekonomiya, economy ng maraming bansa. Pinangungunahan na ito ng China na nag-aalisan ang kanilang mga tao at nag-abroad. More especially yung, yung China na kinakalaban ng Amerika. Dito sila pumupunta sa Amerika at nag-migrate. Kaya itong mga pro-China pro Pilipinos dyan sa Pilipinas, uh, traitor, ha? Uh, Hinahamon ko. Ba't kayo galit sa Amerika? Dahil siguro sinusustento ang kayo ng China. Pero asan na yan ang pansustento ng China? Nung bumoblema sila. Isipin mo, yung nilalagay nila sa West Philippine Sea, ang laking budget niyan. Inuubos nila ang resources nila. Just makuha lang nila ang West Philippine Sea or even the Philippines. But kinounter yan ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos Jr. What? By what means? Huh? He come here to America for many times huh? Huh? just to make uh, the United States back to the Philippines. And now we have nine military bases in the Philippines and the biggest investor there in the Philippines is the United States of America. And we, the U.S. Filipino, contributed about uh, the biggest uh, dollar remittances there in the country. Um, more approximately 13 to 14 billion dollars in a year. And for the combined, uh, combined um, contribution, including the overseas Filipino workers, 
in different countries amounting to 33 to 30 billion, 34 billion dollars in a year per central bank data. So that's how it is, guys. So pag nakakita kayo ng mga Pilipino dyan sa Pilipinas na galing sa abroad, most especially here in America, ay magbigay kayo ng red carpet, a Department of Immigration, Department of Tourism, see to it that whenever Filipinos coming from the United States and different parts of the world, overseas Filipino workers, you lay down a red carpet and a flowers or some pagita as a sign of uh, uh, respect, huh? respect and thanksgiving. For all of us who did a good job in making the country strong, despite of all the pandemics that comes uh, in the past. And there are only, the, I think there are only the two countries that is uh, the economy is stronger. Right now, America is still the number one undisputed uh, economy. Very strong economy. The unemployment is very low. And in fact, hiring more workers coming from different parts of the world, most especially to the Filipinos there in the Philippines. And we should thank the Democrats here, the Democrat Party, especially to President Joe Biden and uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, uh, the U.S. is the single uh, biggest economic uh, power in the world as well as military might and the military might contribute to the great economy of the united states undisputed right now now the, Uni the united kingdom is suffering from uh recession right now and i just heard also malaysia is doing it it's just the same and those Filipino who are against the democrats okay prove it now the economy is strong and the military is strong what can you say I don't know why you are you, you like that. Hmm? Okay. So, ito ay isang patunay na ang ekonomiya ng Pilipinas ay lumalakas dahil sa pakikipag-ugnayan ni President Bongbong Marcos Jr. na hindi ginawa ng dating Presidente Rodrigo Roa Duterte na naging pro-China. Pro-China kasi yung kanyang visa denied. Tsaka ibang mga senator dyan denied. Denied U.S. visa. Because of what? Hindi sila makakuha ng background check. They have, military, they have criminal cases there in the Philippines. And you cannot get inside the United States if you have a criminal background. Huh? And you cannot go even here in the United States if you are from, uh, uh, you have encountered a uh, prison term. Hmm. Yan ang naging dahilan. At ang patunay na ang mga overseas Filipino workers as well as US Filipino, the US Filipinos here in America are the, are the one that propelled the economy of the country during the Philippines by buying properties. You can see the big houses there in the Philippines, the big investment that the US Filipino are poured to the country. Millions of dollars are being poured by by the Filipinos here in America, and you could deny it. And you are the direct uh, beneficiary of it: the economy, uh, the sales, uh, property, uh, apartments, and many others are contributing to the economy of the country. Employment too; the, the employment rate in the Philippines is going down. And the uh, the employment rises up, and you are telling me the prices of food are rising. Yes, of course, because the standard of living is is also growing, and you and you have you will have, you will have many sources of income generated from this our dollar remittances on a yearly basis per central bank data. So what kay maniniwala kay kay ano kay kay Maharlika, di dyan sa Los Angeles, California. May problema yan. May problema yan. At kung kin kinakansyawan nyo, most especially the Philippine senators, are against because you are pa with partners with the Chinese businessmen and with the Chinese government. 
You are making part of yourself a propaganda of China. Your aim is to what? Huh? To destroy and to destabilize the government of President Bongbong Marcos Jr. Alam niyo guys, pagka may unity, maski sa pamilya at walang unity, hindi kayo aasenso. Walang aasenso ang pamilya kung kayo ay watak-watak. Yung kontra dito, kontra doon, kontra dito, kontra doon, ay walang mangyayari. Maski na sa school. Ha? Gumawa kayo. Mabaw, nahirapan kayo sa mathematics. Make yourself a math, a math team or a math club. When I did in the past, when I was still studying there in the Philippines, I'm a member of the mathematics club. And also English club. I joined English club. At sasabihin niya sa Pilip, dito sa aking blog, uh, and in, even in other, in other uh, blogs and other uh, uh, means of communication, that the Filipino should not speak English because what? They are Filipino. Kailangan Tagalog ang usapan. Mali! Mali yan. How can you improve yourself if with, with, the, with those Filipino? Who can understand Filipino? Huh? Who can understand Filipino? In the Philippines only. But when you go abroad, you must be uh, you must be fluent in English. You could defend yourself. Kung ikaw, ay katulad ko, health workers, uh, I will be sued or I will be charged with abuse. I can't defend myself alone. I don't need anybody to help me. I can defend myself because I am capable of uh, reasoning out to my what I, I, I believe is right. And because of the dollar of business that we have to the country, uh, our we help the government in providing medicines, food, infrastructures uh, with the help of DSWD. Alam nyo guys, Ang DSWD, pag nagbibigay yan ng tulong sa mga tao, lalo na doon sa mga mahirap, ay nakatutulong sa economy. Di nyo ba alam yan? Kayong mga senador na kumukontra sa DSWD, ha? tama ba yung ginagawa nyo? Pag ang, ang DSWD nagbigay ng 1,000 pesos sa bawat isang pamilya o sa bawat isang tao na nangangailangan ng tulong, ang gagawin niya ay bibili. Bibili sa tindahan, bibili sa grocery, bibili sa, sa mga mall. Ano mangyayari sa economy? Tumataas, nag improve Yung mga confederation of employers there in the Philippines, you are wrong. Because if your product is food, who will buy food without the money? And the SDSWD is providing you money to the people in order for your business to grow up. Ano sasabihin mo na, na mahaling ma hihina ang economy Sino may, may sabi sa inyo, mga uh, confederation of employers in the Philippines, na ang um, magkakaroon kayo ng trouble with budgeting. You are not helping your company, you are, you're putting your economy down to the drain. And you will find yourself that you are a losing company. Bakit ba dito sa Amerika nagbibigay ng continuous uh, uh, sales? Halos taon-taon yan. Walang tigil yan. Walang hinihintay yan. Ha? Meron nga dito, every Black Friday, merong sale, napakarami, almost 50% discount. Confederation of the, of the Philippines there, Employers Confederation of the Philippines. Okay? Can you, can, you, can you reason out on this in your comment, if you are watching and listening to me? What is the relation of increasing the minimum wage to the economy? Nasabihin nyo, ihihinay ka na, no, you're wrong. Dito nga, pag nakita ng gobyerno na mahina economy, like the one in Chicago, when I was there, the economy is down. Then suddenly, the city council decided to put up more infrastructure project to gain more employ employers, uh, more employees to work. And what is the, what is the effect? People are, when, when, when they have work, they are going to buy everything because they have money. When you keep your money in your pocket and you are not going to buy anything, what is the effect to the economy? It's going down, right? Okay, I hope that I, I was able to, to 
I was able to help you guys to understand what is the effect of money when you spend money. Not exactly that you are going to empty your pocket, but you have to spend money in order for the economy to grow. And at the same time, uh, when it grows, the, the whole country will benefit through its economy because the economy will be stronger than what you think. Okay? So this is your host, Freddy, uh, Filipinos America blog. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Uh, so that maraming makaintindi ano ba ang import ang dahilan bakit ang economy ay umaangat dyan sa Pilipinas like here in America umaangat hindi tayo nalulugi eh. sasabihin nyo ang presyo ng bigas ay 20 pesos abay 20 pesos eh imposible na ngayon yan ha? kasi dito sa America ha? nung ako ay bago ah, magkano lang ang, ang, ang pamasahe ko abay dollar lang dollar 25 Eh ngayon eh, mataas na. Ang presyo ng biling, dati nakakabili ako ng $100, ngayon $150 na. Eh pero, ano naman, ang economy, mataas. O, oh, maraming trabaho. Napakaraming trabaho. Kaya mali ang inyong sistema dyan sa Pilipinas, lalo itong mga gunggok na senator na to. Ha? Kasi pro-China, kaya kinokontra nila ang administrasyon. Kaya mabuhay ang uh, Philippine Congress, members of the Philippine Congress, lalo na kay Speaker Romualdez na nag-aral dito sa Amerika. Ganon din ang ating Pangulong Bongbong Marcos Jr. na nag-aral dito sa Amerika. It pays a lot if you study here in America compared to those uh, universities there in the Philippines. Only two universities are being uh, recognized here in America. The University of the Philippines, Diliman, and Uh, Ateneo de Manila University in Quezon City. Wala nang iba. Wala nang iba. Okay? Kung kayo ay nabigyan ng credit, ah, patalaman na kayo. Pero yung dalawang university lang. University of the Philippines and Ateneo de Manila University in Quezon City. Okay? In God we trust, never hold your peace.